Are you looking for that all-around versatile express cruiser? Then come with me as we tour Drew's dream boat here at South Mountain Yachts. We're on a 2001 Bayliner 2855, one of the most popular boats ever built. She's loaded with features and economical. To begin with, we've got a windlass, full camper back enclosure, which is nice and clean, boarding ladder, and the boat is very well powered with Merc Cruiser 454 with Bravo 3 outdrives. So the boat also comes with its own trailer so you can take her anywhere. As we go through the boat, you'll see why this vessel was one of the most popular boats ever built for the boating community. Drew's dream boat has just been buffed and waxed. She's been extremely well maintained, neat, clean, odor free. So come with me for a quick tour on Drew's dream boat here at South Mountain Yacht. Here we are starting off forward port on Drew's dream boat. We see we've got a nice plow anchor with a windlass. Notice this very large foredeck right here. It's what I call an LLI, ladies like it feature. You can have a pad made and it's a great place to lay out on. Got a nice safety rail right there. And if you notice, Bayliner did a great job with these oversized windows to allow lots of light down into the cabin. Coming down along the side, we see we've got that full enclosure, nice and clear. Upgrade on this is we have a stainless steel, very strong, very solid frame as opposed to the standard aluminum. Coming down along the side, we have our Sierra 2855 badge and our shore power plug right here. If you notice, the vents are in very good condition. This boat has been very well maintained. All the plastic parts have been replaced. Get a load of that shine right there. Here we are, we're actually looking right through that Isenglass, so you can just see how nice it is. Pulling back, we get a full overview of the transom with that molded in swim step. We've got deck storage right there. On top of the radar arch, we have our digital antenna, JRC radar, and a GPS antenna right there along with the VHF. We're going to step on board. We enter the vessel through this starboard door right here and immediately to our left we see the transom seat. We've got storage underneath. In-deck table mount right there. That footrest drops down and then that backrest faces forward or back also. Now this transom seat can be folded up flat up against the bulkhead and used as a combing pad and that gives you that much more space here. Circling around, we've got storage right there. Up one step and we're at the helm right there. We've got our stainless steel ship's wheel Below we have our VHF radio, 110 outlet, multiple switches right here. We've got our JRC radar, autopilot, yep, we've got an autopilot on her. That's what this gray marine unit is right here. And our depth finder. Up above, our operational engine gauges and our compass. Now as we circle around, we see our port side fore and aft facing chaise seating right there. So folks can go either direction, right next to the driver or behind. Now engine access is nice and easy, right up through this hatch. The owner has upgraded the struts on that, so they're heavy duty and oversized to make lifting a little bit. As you can see, we have a nice big hatch there to allow easy access. We've got this 454 right in front of us. We're going to start. 
And we're going to do a cold start on this. stepping into the engine compartment we see we've got these four oversized house batteries battery charger there in the corner water heater notice the risers and manifolds are nice and clean the whole engine space is neat clean and orderly This is one of the few 2855s out there with the large 7.4 MPI engine. To access the bow, we use these molded in steps. Step, step. And up to that fore deck. Right there. This is going to give us a quick overview we enter the cabin through the center line by fold door and down a few steps this is going to give us an overview of the whole cabin right here Once inside, immediately on our port side, we see we have our private mid cabin with a nice mirrored door right there, hanging locker, our power panel is right there. We've got more storage. And then right here, we have a double wide, full beam bed. I'm not sure you can see how far back it goes. It's over seven feet. And then you've got lots of headroom here to use this as a standing changing area right here. Nice feature, privacy door. And then circling around, we have our galley right here. Stainless steel sink, stereo, storage behind these dual burner alcohol electric stove lots of storage down below this is a nice touch right here we have built-in drawers moving forward there's our microwave we've got a nice little jump seat right here and then our forward V berth. Now that's over seven feet long and as wide as the beam of the boat. You do have some gunnel storage. Nice hatch right there. Forward access to the anchor locker. Now this flat screen TV is included along with the fans to move the air around in here if you don't want to keep the windows open. There is a privacy curtain. As we pull back, we have our booth style dinette. The table also can be lowered. There's a lip there, and that could be used as yet another sleeping area. Notice how bright the cabin is with those nice slash windows with curtains. Underneath the seats, there is additional storage, and same thing. There's our refrigerator. Everybody wants to know where it is. And then there's more storage up under here. This boat has some nice personal touches in it, which makes it nice and homey. So as we go further back, yep, there it is. We have a fully lined fiberglass head, easy to care for, easy to clean. We do have the marine toilet. And everyone is always curious as to like a shower. Just pull out the shower wand, 
hook it up there and you're good to go. Everything will drain into the floor and then overboard. Drew's Dream Boat also includes a 1700 watt inverter so you can use power all weekend when you're out and about without being concerned. She's neat, clean, odor free, well maintained, comes with a trailer so she's ready to go. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.